Ah! Ow! Oh! Dodge this! No! That. Oh my gosh! I'll take care of this. Yeah, hero gain a level. Okay, we're gonna need a uh, calm litany. I have Starlights in case Romfar really runs out of MP, but... Oh. Alright, let's deal with this thing. Defense. Whoa. Dodge this. Lady Luck, be kind. Please kill it. Seventy eight. Okay. No. Ow. Farm was gonna game a level two. Had another healer. Oh well, can't be choosers. Where does this go? Oh, I don't think. Does this just go to the yeah chest? Yeah, that's a whole another way to get to the chest. First time we have been visited here by someone other than Galleon. Please promise me that you won't tease the fairies. They're sensitive creatures, you know. Don't worry, I won't tease them. Thank you for your kindness. Welcome to Galleon's garden. I figured they have a hard enough life as this living with Galleon. Master Galleon possesses a wonderful magical power. Just how wondrous is it? Legend has it that the goddess Althena once bowed to it. You mean to say that Galleon controlled the goddess herself? That cannot be true, because if it was... 
Long, long ago, Dear Galleon strived to rule the world. But he was defeated by the Dragon Master, the protector of the goddess Althena. Galleon was very sad when he told us that story. Well, of course, because he was like, he was the one who got beaten up. I don't like see, seeing Galleon in, sorrow, in such sorrow, but I don't know what I can do to lift his spirits. Perhaps I should give him a bouquet of flowers during his next visit. What do you think? Looks like they're, they're sympathetic to Galleon. Guess they're on his side. Master Galleon died once, but he came back to life. Isn't that wonderful? It is impossible. There is no magic in the world which can resurrect the dead. Oops, almost dropped my controller. I dropped my controller there. Not even the ga goddess Althena could perform such an act. It is against the laws of nature. Long ago, Galleon called himself the Magic Emperor and sought to rule the world. He was so powerful that he tore the magic city of Vain from the heavens and cast it down to Earth. What? Now I'm really steamed! I always thought the Magic Emperor was a legend. But if this Galleon is the same one who destroyed Vane, I'll wring his neck! Okay, same, same old, same old. Cool. I was all alone in the world. I had no friends, no family. Then I was found by Master Galleon. He brought me here. If I had not met the Master, I would have been alone for the rest of my life. I love Master Galleon. He gave me friends and he brought me so much happiness. I love Master Galleon. He gave me a place where I belong and friends who care about me. Okay, cool. Oh, all of you are humans. I have heard many stories about humans. But this girl is different from the rest of you. She doesn't look the same. What are you, blue-haired girl? Where did you come from? <laughs> no comment. Oh, same thing. You're not human, but you're not like Master Galleon either. Where are you from, strange girl? Huh. What is Lucia, her true nature? Mr. Galleon, Master Galleon said that his, this world will be destroyed soon. That is why he made this secret garden and brought us here. He said we'd be safe here forever. I don't understand. If Galleon is supposed to be so evil, why does he care about these fairies? Evil? Galleon is not evil. He is our protector! Doesn't he protect you too? Uh, no. I guess it's always nice to find a place to belong, huh? Okay. Master Galleon is very cute when he's taking a nap in the garden. But he's even cuter when he smiles at me. He doesn't smile very much though, so I do whatever I can to make him happy. Huh. Okay. Dear Galleon is always thinking of the past and it makes him sad. So we do all kinds of things to distract him and make him smile. Huh. Why well, can't I see? My new secret garden. Because there was a secret garden in the first game as well. That we went through. A long time ago though. This door is held with very old and powerful magic. I will try to remove the spell. Ooh. 
if the man named Galleon was able to open this door, he must have used a sacred spell. But the sacred spells cannot be used by humans. Only Althena and I have that ability. Weird. Galleon used powerful magic in different areas of these ruins to protect them from humans. He didn't want anyone entering this entering this place without his permission. It is his sanctuary from the world. Is Galleon going to help us? Or is he going to try and stop us? We don't know. He, he sounds sinister, but he could very well be. I have no idea. I mean, it sounds like he wants to deal with Lucia, but at the same time, I don't... Huh. huh. I, does he still... He wants to rule the world, but I'm not really sure. I don't understand. But well, the fairies are like... He's... Okay, yay, we're done with the dungeon. Whew. We managed to make our escape out of there. That dungeon was pretty short, thankfully. It was mercifully short. No, it's the... Ah! Uh, I figure he will be waiting for us outside. <sighs> Alright. I sincerely hope you enjoyed my little detour. You cannot escape the power of the Dragon Ship Destiny. The chase ends here! He's right! One blast of the dragon cannon and it's over! I must fight! Lucia? I must accomplish my mission, hero! I cannot surrender! If I give up now, you and your world will suffer for eternity! I don't see how I'll profit from being mega mega blasted into a cloud of vapor, Lucia. All right. I'll fight with you, Lucia, to the death. Hero. Uh, should I have healed up everybody? I don't know. Never estimate underestimate the power of Lady Luck, Hero. I'm willing to fight. I knew that following you guys was a mistake, uh, but not fighting Leo would be a bigger one. Hey, I have a great idea! Why don't we surrender instead of getting our ourselves slaughtered? Whatever you are discussing amongst yourself is a moot issue, don't you understand? My given task is to execute Lucia before she destroys us all. And know that I have both the will and the resources to carry out that task. Acquire targets! Prepare to fire! <laughs> I surrender! Don't shoot! I'm too young and beautiful to die! <laughs> well, she's the only one begging. Cease your pathetic begging and go to your graves with a shred of dignity! Dragon Cannon, fight! What the hell? Ah! Lucia the dis Lucia the Destroyer is going to kill us! Please help us, Lord Leo, please! You pathetic morons! There is no danger from Lucia because Althena will protect us! You are proud warriors of the goddess! Stand firm and you will be impervious to harm! Or... Lord Leo, are you... Are you dead? This magic is very powerful. Could it be that... Uh-oh. Who is that? It was Galleon, wasn't it? I 
I don't understand. Why are you helping me? Why did that man, Galleon, save us? I do not understand his motivations. I don't understand it either. Lord Leo has been wounded. We must retreat at once and tend to his injuries. Keep the dragon cannon aimed at Lucia and ready to fire. Don't take your eyes off her. I don't know what that was all about, but we're saved! I know he's a big jerk and all, but I hope Leo's okay. Whatever hit him must have really hurt! Leo will be fine, pretty kitty. White knights tend to bounce back pretty quickly. He's taken worse than that and survived. So let's get out of here while we have the chance. Okay. I was like, oh, boss fight? Oh no! I'm not ready for this. Sorry, give me a sec. I guess we should be able to cross, um... Uh, the... The bridge now. Do we have money now? We could. Can we buy the stuff from the carnival? Well, we have 1500. I don't know if that's enough to buy much of anything, to be honest. I'm just going to ignore all these guys. Well, at least they're still here, so that's good. Oh, are you all right? Good! If you aren't in a hurry, you should rest here until you're strong enough to continue. At least they seem to be okay. Ah, oh, Jean! It's been too long since I saw you, so I'm guessing that the guard isn't chasing you anymore. Does that mean we have time to catch up with everything that's happened since you left? Actually, we should probably leave here as soon as we can. But I'm sure Hero won't mind if we chat for a few minutes. Really? Wonderful. I need your advice about my latest group of outfits for the caravan. It's hard to make costume for the other performers when none of them shine like Jean does. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh... Only Hero can use it, so I couldn't get it for him. The flare dress, she already wears it, so... Silver robe... No, she already wears that too. Okay, so the only thing that it was Hero that needed has all the... The rest are all herbs. Okay, so I Iron Help and uh, Iron Shield. So that's doable. No. Okay, cool. All I really care about. There you go. Now he has better defense. So she, he should be able to handle things better.
Baba wooden shield. All right, I can stop there first. Lord Leo, are you dead? Thank you for anything in the Mystic Ruins, there was no, like, boss or something. I'm just gonna move on without talking to NPCs. Take too long. I've talked to them once before and that was enough, honestly. I think there's nothing else I can get from here. A brought sword. I don't need it. Yeah, they already have everything in here. We have 15 herbs, some starlights, and angel's tear, which eventually we will want to get. Yay! We actually can cross! I hope you people aren't planning on a trip to Meribia anytime soon. Cause it ain't gonna happen. The village of Zulin is buried in snow, and the trail to Moribia is impassable. Sucks, don't it? All you can do is stay here until the snow melts, or find yourself one mother of a shovel. I hope you plan people aren't planning on disregarding my advice and heading for Moribia anyway. Why would, why would we do that? We would not disregard advice. The last two travelers who ignored me came back here with frostbite and permanently pointy nipples. What? Why Why that detail, sir? Nota has some great shops, but the city of Moribia has the best shop of them all. It's young by a young guy named Ramus, but you must know that. He and his family are famous. It's the goal of every merchant in Nota to achieve the level of success that Ramus has. I'm a merchant myself, and I definitely wouldn't mind owning a shop as large as Ramus's. Ramus? Hmm. Okay, well, since we're here, we can check what they've got. Finest armor shop with prices. Welcome to the finest armor shop in West Nota with prices the East can't match. How can I help you? Oh, it's better than everything we have. The silver gauntlet is better. Like, they are higher level, but they are pretty pricey. I can't afford the silver sword right now. So, this is the next level of upgrade. Probably could have just, like,. No, I needed the upgrade for Alex. Uh, Alex? Hero, anyway. Silver hairpin's already been... I can get it for... Uh... Jean. Uh, priest clothes are really expensive. I can't afford iron armor, which would be better for... Uh, Hero. But I could maybe be able to get the silver gauntlet. Or I could get the silver bracelet for him, so I could compromise. I can't get the armors, but I can get the silver bracelets. Yeah, it will make him way better. So 480 plus... Maybe... Uh, can she... Can we afford all of it? Yeah, we can, actually. Uh, Let's get the silver hairpin. Okay. 
Okay. hairband and the iron gauntlet. Just give us just enough to get one more silver gauntlet. Yeah, this is the best we can do for now. We don't have enough to... Be careful out there and keep us in mind for all your armor needs. Iron Armor Priest Close would have been nice, but we don't have enough for it. Just between you and me, I'm the brother of the man who owns the tavern in East Nota. I'm not that but It's not that I'm embarrassed about it. My brother is a great man and sells great booze. Is that... West and East Noda don't get along like they used to, but it wasn't always that way. Have you heard the story about the bridge between the two sides of Nota? The tradition used to be that every wedding in Nota was held out on the bridge. The bridge symbolized the eternal connections between the two halves of Nota. Just as a marriage is an eternal connection of love between a man and a woman. But the tradition died along with the relationship between West and East Nota, it's a damn shame. The people of West Nota value law and order, and the people of East Nota, well, favor, well, anarchy. There has to be a common ground we can find. There has to be some way to reunite our town. I see. I know, it's a tough one, huh? I'm sorry, but my boss and I have some important matters to discuss. Matters that don't involve you. If you want to talk, let's talk later. Now, if you excuse me. Listen up now. The last guy I sent down to LARPA, LARPA, well, he didn't do what I told him to do. I had to teach him a harsh lesson about doing what you're told, and I don't like teaching. I want you to buy what I need from the old man in LARPA, and at the price I told you to pay. He's going to try and haggle with you, see, but you will not haggle with him. Do you understand? If you do understand, then you're ready to go. Don't let me down. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. You've earned it, but you can lose that trust very quickly. And make sure you bring some loose clothing with you. LARPA's a desert town, you know. Okay, he's talking to the other guy, so... Because Nota is a central trading point, tradesmen come here from all over the world, exchanging rumors, gossip, and other information. 